Hi everyone. I hope everyone's had a um, good first few days back at school. Um, you've settled in well up and um, everything, your anxiety if you had any has settled a bit because I'm sure everything's gone back into routine and I'm really happy to be back at school and seeing all my children in my class and I'm sure you're really excited to have seen your friends. Um, so today I thought we could do a little session. We have done something along these lines before, if not very similar, but the reason why I want to do it again is because I think it is really important to want to grow close to God even during a difficult time. So um, as things are heading in the right direction, we just pray and hope that things will come out of this lockdown really soon and that we don't have to be in it any longer. Um, but we, we're still in a pandemic and it's still really sad what we're going through. Um, and so I thought we we're going to do, if you have the opportunity to go on a walk or a, a Psalms a walk, I'm sorry, a walk around your um, your neighborhood or in the park or um, on a walk to school, whichever walk you go, um, I thought we could do a Psalms walk. So we've done loads of Psalms walks before. Um, we've done something similar with the Psalms walk that I'm going to be doing. So if you've done it again, it doesn't matter. It's no harm in praying again. The more you pray, the closer to God you get anyway. So this Psalms we're looking at is Psalms 42. And it says, I thirst for the living God when when I can go to meet, when can I go to meet him? So this, uh, the writer of this Psalms is struggling with sadness and discouragement. So we, we, we struggling at the moment with a bit of sadness and discouragement. I feel really despondent knowing that this coronavirus has been going on for a year now. And it's just, it's tiring. And so they, this person who wrote the Psalms, even though he was struggling with, um, they were struggling with sadness and discouragement, they chose to put their hope in God and to praise him even during the difficult times. And I think that's really important for us to remember that even though during these difficult times, we need to choose to put our hope in God and we need to choose to praise him even though it's difficult times. So... The first first the, the first first the first first um it says as the deer thirst for streams of water so i thirst for you god so that verse shows that even when a deer is thirsty for water we need to thirst for god for that we need to crave and we need to want him really badly so when on your walk you're going to look for as many sources of water you can find it could be a tap it could be a stream it could be a spring it could be a river any source of water you can find see how many you can find along your walk and then verse three so this is remember psalms 42 so in verse three it says people are always saying where is my god god is always with us wherever we are and um whatever challenge we're facing um he is there it might not feel like it at the time because it can be really difficult, but God is always there no matter what challenging time, what challenge, challenges we face. So what when you're out on your walk, have a look at the creation, God's nature, look around you and what part of nature makes you feel closest to God today when you're on your walk. So is it the trees? Is it the birds? I know it's changing season soon, so or it really has changed seasons. Um, what part of um, nature makes you feel closer to God today? It might be something different the next day, but what do you, when you look out it to say, I oh, know God is around me by looking at that part of nature. Um, and then in verse seven, it says, troubles have come again and again, sounding like waterfalls. Your ways are crashing all around me. So I want you to stop while you're on your walk and breathe in deeply and take time to listen so if you're on your walk near a waterfall you'll hear the waterfall in the background if you're on on a walk around the road you'll see, hear the cars if you're in the woods you'll hear the birds so just take a time just breathe deeply and listen to the environment around you what can you hear and then remember god that god can speak to us in all the loudness so no matter how busy our lives are no matter what's going on around us no matter what loudness is happening in our life God can come in um, to, uh, and he can hear us. He can hear our cries. He can hear our prayers. He can hear us through all those. So 
once you've stopped and listened to your environment um just be still and listen to what god is saying to you ask him to speak to you ask him to share a message with you ask him call on him in the busyness and just pause and be quiet and be still and listen to god because it's really important no matter how busy we get or how loud our lives are um we need to know that god's there no matter how he can come in and hear us through all that loudness and he's there for us so just when you're walking just take us just pause wherever you are just obviously in a safe area stop and take in the environment listen to the loud noises around you and then you can ask god what he wants to say to you and you must be patient you must hear like try and listen to him if you don't hear anything that's fine you can try again the next day not you don't always hear something every day but god will speak to us in the one way or another and then in verse 9 it says i say to god my rock why have you forgotten me so god has never forgotten us it might feel like that when we're in a difficult time it might feel like we're alone it might feel like we are by ourselves and going through this alone or you keep on praying and you don't see change right there and then but we need to remember god hasn't forgotten us and he he answers our prayers in his time not our time i know that can get really frustrating because you want to see a change now but it's not always the case god has the best timing and we need to remember that so we mustn't be impatient we must just wait for god to speak to us and make the change. So he's never forgotten us. So what you need to do in this one is find a rock and pick it up while you're on your walk and feel the weight of it in your hand, okay? And think of a time when you have felt strong and a strong and firm connection to God. So it might be during prayer or I feel a really strong connection to God during worship. Um, when, when is a time that you felt a really strong and firm con connection to God? And let yourself relax in God's and into God. It's always ready, strong, never ending arms. Okay? So when you pick up that rock, think of back to a time when you had that strong, firm connection to God. Like I said before, it was I've done, I feel a really strong connection during worship. So when you're holding that rock, you need to relax into God's arms and you know that He's there, He's holding us tight. He isn't going to let us go. He isn't going to um, let us fall. He isn't going to fail us. He's there for us. Okay. And that's what we need to make sure that we know. So yes, sometimes it doesn't feel like it or some sometimes things are going wrong. But that's why I thought I would share this, um, this Psalms again with you. Um, because even though no matter what we are going through, the challenging times we are going through, we need to still put our hope in God. And we still need to call on him, no matter how difficult it seems. Okay, and I think that's really good, reassuring to know that he will never forget us. He will never, he will never let us go. He will never um, let us fall or fail, or he will never. Um, if we, when we're praying, he will listen, and that's really reassuring, and it's really comforting to know, especially during this time. So. We're going through a lot of sadness in the world at the moment, and but it's very exciting time going back to school. And some of you might be anxious, and this is a perfect time to know that when you're anxious, God's got his arms wrapped around you. He's holding you through it all, so you don't need to worry about a thing. Just call on him and he is listening. So I hope you have an amazing week, and I will see you soon. Bye.